This app is used to calculate the chocolate's contraction process when put through a specific cooling progress. In other words, to find how much different masses contract in your production. It can also be used to find the ideal tempering index for the chocolate when a certain contraction percentage is desired. To execute a contraction test, the outline for temperature settings must be made. This is a tryout setting outline because the settings are made on the cell temperature while the results are measured from the chocolate temperature. The goal is to reflect the degrees per minute in the cooling tunnel and to get the cooling speed to be the same in every test made where the values from the results are to be compared. The recommended starting point is approximately 1 degree per minute on the cell. This is done by the cooling span and test duration. Settings also include naming the recipe to find it on the main page, the outlet temperature from the tempering machine and optional offset to all temperature settings. Above the graph, the ID for the chocolate can be chosen. This is used as a name tag for the chocolate or the line used for the test to keep track of where test originates. When everything is set and ready, follow the instructions for app activation and filling the cup. For a contraction test, a metal bead in the cup is required. The temperature measurement must be made in air because the data processing is made by the ideal gas equation. When looking at the graph, the attention is paid to the yellow line which shows the change in contraction according to the ideal gas equation in percentage. This means that if the chocolate contraction follows the equation's expected values, the yellow graph will not make fluctuations. Attention is paid to the results table when the test is done. As said, the cooling speed should be reflecting the speed for the cooling process in the tunnel. All considered, the contraction percentage is viewed. This shows the measured total contraction in the chocolate and or mass and at what time this measurement was achieved.